Hello, this is Don, and today we are going to learn how to use the app called Erasma. So I've got Erasma pulled up here on my iPad, but it works on lots of other mobile devices as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press a little button here to get up the menu. And you see down there where there's a plus sign. I'm going to click on the plus sign to create my own. There's some preloaded ones here on the device are built into the library and then I can use also images that are already on my device and I've got a couple that I've already that I've got ready for us today one of them is for a nucleus explaining parts of the nucleus so I'm going to choose that so I'll click select and this is going to make a little vocabulary card where that picture is going to match up now I need to make a picture for the word nucleus all right so there's the word nucleus and I'm going to match that up with this picture. So when the app sees this, it knows to make that picture show up. But we're gonna need a little more detail to kind of help it out. So I'm gonna draw a little box around my word nucleus, give it some pattern. Just kind of like you would, like a QR code. Gives it just enough information that the app is able to recognize this pattern now I've done this really quickly so we'll see how this works out all right so I'm matching up again this picture for the word nucleus with my little vocabulary flashcard that I've made here for nucleus and I'm going to tell it that I want it to pay attention to just this part over here. That's all that it needs to be looking for. When it sees that, it's supposed to display our vocabulary term in augmented reality. I'm going to put mine down here so I can see my picture and the vocabulary word at the same time. But if I wanted to make it appear right on top, I could do that as well. So I will click next, type in the word, and just give this a name, be real creative and call this nucleus. Hopefully, and there we go. So now when it sees my little vocabulary card, it knows that it's supposed to display this picture in augmented reality. So I can match up a picture or a video. Just, and when I take it away, obviously it disappears. And I put this here and it's going to recognize it and have this information displayed in AR. Your students will enjoy doing this. I can't touch it, but really you can match up any picture or any video to create your own little project-based learning activities, working on the science, math, or other vocabulary terms that your students are needing to learn. So really, as much as you can imagine different ways of using this, there are probably an unlimited number of ways that you could find to use Erasma and augmented reality to teach your students lots of different subjects. Thank you.